To the delight of some and the detriment of others, Photoshop has come a long way in the past decade. But what if that manipulation capability could be done with video and carried out almost instantly? In the U.S. at the University of Washington, researchers are making strides in creating such a technology. CCTV's Mark New reports. It's become a hugely popular mobile activity, face swapping. Looks more like a real person. <laughs> but at the Graphics and Imaging Lab at the University of Washington, PhD student Supasorn Suwachinakorn is working on taking face swapping to a new level. He types in a search for someone who has plenty of photos, like former U.S. President George Bush. Algorithms use the collection to build a 3D model and capture details like eye color, skin color, and even the texture of the skin. Bush's expression can even be transferred to other faces. It can be ugly, <laughs> and, uh, uh, but it looks like they're making some progress. The researchers are currently working on replicating a person's precise movements. President Barack Obama's head movement on the right is real, and the one on the left generated through artificial intelligence. Later on, we can try to reconstruct other aspects, such as their dynamics, their behavior, or their um, personality, and recreate a model that's interactive that you could talk to. And then we could take a video footage of some historical figures like Albert Einstein, and then create a model of Albert Einstein that you could talk to. That overcomes the limitations of current technology, which requires a subject to be brought into a studio and covered with motion capture sensors. Researchers here at the University of Washington say Hollywood and the video game industry have already shown great interest in their technology, but it does raise some ethical issues. Will we eventually be able to make anyone look like they said something they never did? It's the same process that happened with Photoshop already. I think if you see some photo, um, you might not trust it right away that it's real. I think people might start doing that if they know someone can do this. But how do we prevent that? I'm not sure. One solution would be to create software that could detect the difference. But for now, the focus here is purely on capturing the dynamics of what makes each person unique. It's in our capacity to assimilate people. Mark New, CCTV, Seattle. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.